Do you want to learn about five absolutely insane swaps that people have done with the Mazda MX-5 Miata? If you do, then this video is for you. Don't forget to stick around to the end and watch the full list because towards the end we have one of the fastest Miatas in existence and it's one of the most unique and cool on this list. Before we get into it though, let us know down below what the craziest Miata swap you've seen is. It might just be on this list. Anyway, let's get right into it and start off with number 5. Number 5 on the list is for people who say Miata is always the answer, but they're also the type of people that say Mopar or no car. That's right, you've probably heard of the swap before, but we're talking about the Hellcat swapped Miata. This swap was originally done by Carr on YouTube, that's K-A-R-R, -R. I have that link down in the description below, and this is putting the 6.2 liter Hemi V8 by Dodge into a Miata. Now, if you don't know, that engine makes 707 horsepower from the factory, so it turned that car into an absolute animal. Now, a lot of custom work went into getting that build to actually happen. The thing has a custom engine cradle, custom diff, it's a Ford 8.8 .8 diff in there, and all of that was done through a V8 Roadsters kit that was modified to work with that big old 6.2 liter Hemi V8. Now, if you want to see more on this swap, and I absolutely recommend it, go ahead over and check out Carr's YouTube channel. You could also see this car on the Hoonigan channel. Cletus McFarlane drove this, did some sick burnouts in it, and this car has really been around, and it deserves to be because it is just so cool. Before we wrap this one up, I want to show you a clip of this car doing an absolutely nasty burnout so you could see what this thing is capable of because it's just so raw, it's so much engine for one of these lightweight cars, and it is just absolutely crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that thing is just absolutely insane. But for now, let's move on to the next one. And when this build series was coming out, this was one of my favorite build series that I had ever watched on YouTube. It was one of the most engaging and most cool that I've ever seen. And this one is the Subaru Swapped Miata. Now, you might have seen this one. This one is a very popular YouTuber named Gingium's car and it started out as a Rally Miata. When this thing was a Rally Miata, it was a lifted Miata with some engine mods, tons of suspension mods done, and the car was already pretty insane. Then Caleb, the owner of the Gingium channel, went ahead and decided to put basically a WRX drivetrain into his car. This car ended up making 357 wheel horsepower and 340 wheel torque, and it is just absolutely crazy. This is the same engine that I actually have in my daily driver, which is a Saab 92X Aero, which makes this thing even more special. But anyway, the fab work on this car is crazy. He did everything himself. It has a custom tube chassis front end to get the engine all cradled in there. It has custom suspension mounting points. It has a rear mounted radiator. And Caleb is just an insane fabricator. He comes up with crazy ideas and really makes them happen which is why I needed to include this car on this list. Moving on to number three on this list, we have another absolutely crazy build. This one is That V12 Miata Bruh on YouTube. Now, you probably guessed this one is literally a V12 in a Miata. This engine is a 1GZ FE 5 liter V12 that this guy has managed to stuff into the front of his Miata. Now again, this one is particularly crazy and intriguing to me because he's just the guy in his garage doing this absolutely insane project. This car isn't actually running and driving on the road yet, so you could follow along while he works on wrapping up this car and getting it ready to go out on the street and just be an absolutely crazy build. He does have some videos on his channel of him starting it and revving it, and that was a few years ago at this point before he dove back into it and continued doing more custom work, and it is crazy. The most notable feature of this build that he's done so far is a absolutely insane job building a 12 to 1 collector for the exhaust, and the exhaust comes out the front of the engine and goes down underneath the car, and it is just wild. 
He's also talking about doing twin turbos on this thing and trying to make a thousand horsepower. I don't know what the status of all that is, but again, follow along on his channel, on his Instagram to see the crazy progress on this build. All right, so now let's move on to number two on this list. And this car is one that was purpose built for drifting. Now you're probably thinking there are so many drift Miatas, how is this one unique? This one has a 3.9 liter four cylinder engine that is a Cummins diesel 4BT engine. If that wasn't crazy enough, this thing also has nitrous and a rear mounted fuel cell and radiator. All of this makes for about 400 horsepower and it looks pretty crazy. Now this is absolutely crazy because one, it's a diesel Miata, and two, based on everything I've read, that engine weighs about three times what a stock Miata engine weighs. And this thing is really crammed into the engine bay. This car was built by Piston Head Productions. They again have a YouTube channel so you could follow along with this car. This car was actually a giveaway car that is no longer theirs, but the old videos are still on their channel and it's crazy to check out. But again, this one took a lot of custom work. Like most of the insane modified cars, this started with a V8 Roadsters kit that was modified to fit that 4BT engine in there. This one runs with a Ford F-150 transmission and a 8.8 .8 rear end so it could handle all that power and torque and put it to the ground. It also has a crazy hood dump so when they're drifting around you got the white tire smoke out the back and the black soot shooting out the hood so it looks absolutely insane. Also, for being such a heavy engine up front, this thing actually looks like it drifts pretty nice and it looks to be really, really cool. So, Piston Head Productions, nice job on this car. I think it is absolutely awesome and it absolutely deserved to be on this list. And finally, number one on this list for the craziest engine swaps in a Mazda MX-5 Miata, we have something that only revs to 3,500 RPM. One of the best parts about this car that I'm about to talk about is its name, Assault and Battery. That's right, we're talking about an EV swapped electric Miata. This car was made by Lone Star Performance EV down in Texas and to this day is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, Miatas ever made. I have to break out the spec sheet here because I don't want to mess this up and misinform you and underrate this car because it is absolutely crazy. Now this car again made 1,335 foot-pounds of torque and 770 horsepower. It has a perfectly flat torque curve from 0 to 3,500 RPM. It's powered by two motors that are 9-inch Warp 9 motors and 4,000 amps of power. To put that into perspective, an electric drill draws about 5 to 10 amps of power, so these motors at full tilt while drag racing are drawing about the same amount of electricity as 800 electric drills running at full torque at once. A stock Miata's rear tire is about 7.5 inches wide. The tires on this thing are 14.5 inches wide. That's like running a dually Miata but with racing compound tires on the back. This car broke a lot of records and is absolutely crazy. It still holds the Houston half mile electric vehicle record at 165.5 miles an hour. It's the first EV door slammer in the five seconds in the eighth mile, which they did 10 years ago. This is crazy because a lot of people now are thinking that Teslas are still a relatively new thing and that fast EVs are new. But no, this Miata has been doing it for years. This car's best quarter mile was a 8.8 .8 at 148 miles an hour. To put that into perspective, a stock Miata is barely getting to 60 miles an hour in that amount of time. And with all that, that's going to wrap up this video on my top five craziest engine swaps for the Mazda MX-5 Miata. If we missed your favorite, that's the craziest one you could think of, don't forget to let us know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it, that will help get this video out to a larger audience. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video and you like other car and Miata content, and I hope you stick around for the next one. Take care.